Hey guys, the objective of today's video is to run you through a derivation for the Swedish method of slices. So an assumption of the Swedish method of slices is that the interslice forces are equal and as a result they cancel each other out. So when we, when we look at a single slice, it is now only necessary to resolve the forces acting on the base of the slice. So here you can see a, a single slice here which makes up part of a slip circle. And the center of the slip circle is denoted by O. And the distance from the center of the slip circle to, to the uh, failure plane is denoted by R, the radius. And the radius R also extends to the center of our slice here. The angle that the center of the slice forms with the center of the slip circle is denoted by this angle here, alpha I. There are also fa uh, forces which are acting on our slice. So a force due to the weight of the slice is denoted by W here. We also have a shear force acting at the base of the slice, a resisting shear force, sorry, denoted by TF. And we also have a normal force denoted by N here. And this slice also has dimensions. So the the width at the top of a slice is denoted by B, the height of a slice is denoted by H, and the arc length at the base of a slice is denoted by L. The distance between the weight force and the center of the slip circle is denoted by X, where X is equal to R sine alpha. Now before we derive the expression for the factor of safety, Let's first look at our failure criterion here. So we have the shear, the failure shear stress being equal to the cohesion plus normal stress multiplied by a tan of the angle of friction. And integrating this expression will give us an expression for the shear force being equal to capital C 